What's up? Homestead Handyman here. Um, the next project that I've been wanting to do for years is uh, to work on this miter saw uh, area. So I have this nice 12 inch DeWalt sliding miter saw and um, I got this mess over here. Now I have it mounted on a stand that you can buy at uh, whatever store and it's okay and it's worked for all these years but accuracy is not there for multiple cuts and I have a, a problem with the, with the scraps and everything. Hold on a minute, let me show you this. Okay, you see, so there I am, I'll be cutting on the saw, right? And then you're cutting all these little snippets and snappets off and look where they end up. Then you get a pile of all this stuff over here because you're trying to, you know, knock things out. You got a pile of junk over here. Of course, I just was working on a project, so things are kind of yucky. Look at the vacuum hoses. Um, I got all this stuff over here, these tools. So, what the plan is, is to um, remove the miter saw and the stand away from there. I'm going to save that stand because I have another miter saw that I might want to use sometimes, and so I'll have two. Um, and then uh, I'm going to build some kind of cabinet. I've been looking a lot on online and I looked at uh, uh, Joe's uh, over at Homesteadonomics and uh, so I've taken a lot of input from a lot of people and I'm just going to come up with something that's going to work for me. Number one is to get the vacuum down there in there and uh, also I want to have some way to have a handy place to throw the scraps and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Now I got this cabinet. You see, everything's a wreck in here now because I just finished up the project. And see, there's the drawers. But what this product is, let's have a close up look over here. See, this is a laminate that um, on particle board, and it's pretty thick. And uh, I got this at a Goodwill, uh, the whole cabinet, for 10 bucks, took it all apart. See, it even has like an edge in there, rubber edge and everything. And they have several more, so I, if I need more, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to use this, I think, for the top, because the top is nice and slick. And look, it, it actually looks like wood. And it came with all these parts that I took apart and, and all that good stuff. So look, I got all kinds of gadgets and gadgets and drawers and everything. And so you could beat that price for 10 bucks. Okay, so I got that area all cleaned up. Got the saw moved over there. All that scrap wood is all gone. Oh, what's that? Well, I got the base built. Let me show you what I did. That is, uh, I, I'm trying to use some um, recycled material. and try to do this as cheaply as I can. So, I did purchase some 2x4s. But let's have a look at what I did. I thought about it and I said, I was going to make this a stationary platform, but I decided everything else is on wheels and I might want to change the location someday. So, I found some wheels that I had. And what I did was I found some steel that I had. Let's have a look at this here. So you can see that uh, I, what I did was, see that piece of angle iron right there? I drilled it and mounted, and it goes underneath, and then I mounted the wheels to it. And then drilled a hole in the bottom of the board so the wheels could stick up over there. So I have uh, that two sets of wheels over there, or one set of wheels. And one set over on this side. Now, because I did, that's all the wheels I had. Oh, by the way, the front two are going to be our, our locking wheels. Now, in the front here, see that piece of angle iron that's right on there? Yeah, well, I got that at a garage sale, and so that's heavy duty. I decided to put that on there, so that will take the bounce out of the uh, the base there. Next is going to be to cut a piece of plywood. 
and screw and glue it on there. And then I will have the platform to build and uh, go from there. So let me get rolling. Alright, so the next thing I did was uh, I got these sides built together and then I'm going to put a piece of plywood on top of that and have it overlap on the bottom. So first... Okay, so there's the deck. Now, just uh, th that is a two foot by eight foot uh, deck that we're going to have on their platform. So now I've made these sides here, and there you can see it's the overlap right here. So what I'll be able to do is take that, put it on here, and that will attach to give me a side. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then I'm going to build some uh, frames to put in the middle. Let me get rolling. All right, so check this out. Uh, you know, that was the old cabinet that I had that I bought for $9.99 at the Goodwill. Well, it had a couple of drawers in it, and uh, it had a brace in it, and I took everything apart. And so I was able to use this brace as the spacer for the width, and I built this uh, wall here in the center. And then I added another piece in there and I just used the drawer and the glides from it because um, I won't be opening that much so they're a little worn and stuff but you know the price was right so now check it out two nice drawers ah this is uh, turning out to be a fun project alright well let's see what else I can come up with with, uh, with the scraps and all this stuff making it fun moving right along all right, well, since that cabinet came with another drawer on there, I decided to put that in there. So that's what I did on this side here. I finished the carcass uh, going all the way across. On this here, on the center section, where the saw is going to mount, I decided to uh, uh, make it a little bit uh, tighter here. And then I'm going to go cut and put a piece of plywood going across the top. And from that point, I'll build the, the boxes on either side that will uh, support the rail system and the stops. Let me show you something. So what I have here is uh, I bought this Craig rail system. Check this out. With the stops. And uh, that's what we're shooting for, something along them lines. So I have an open here. You get the uh, the four rails so that it'll span eight foot. You get the stops, which are very nice, and uh, and the knobs. They're all heavy duty stuff. One is an easy flip, and the other one is what they call a production one that you just lock in. So that is what I'm fixing to put on here. All right, let's get rolling. Okay, so well, let's see here. We're moving right along. Uh, it's turning into a nice cart. I'm kind of building it on the fly and using the materials that I have and uh, I'm liking the way it's turning out. I put in these uh, little side walls here so the vacuum and stuff will fit down in here. I have uh, the two drawers over there and then a shelf to be able to put scraps of wood on and uh, additionally on this side I'll be able to put the uh, short cutoffs and stuff that I have or whatever. I think I'm probably going to find some scrap there and make a little uh, face frame to go on here just for me. It doesn't really need it. Uh, it's just to kind of finish it up. And then I'll get this uh, top on there, put the saw on there, and then start building the, um, the rail system. All right. 
Okay, so here's the top. I'm getting the air on it. Uh, what I did was uh, I found a, a piece of this is 150 year old wood right here. Let's see if it'll focus in good on it. It's a 150 year old old growth pine. And so I put that on the edge of the plywood, glued it on there to give it a nice look. And once I put a little finish on there, the grain will pop a little bit and I'll get to enjoy it all the time as I'm working. All right, I'm going to get... Okay, so since I have this area here that the vacuum is going to go in, and then you can see the plug back there. And so uh, what I want to do is make it a little easier. Even though there is a switch on the vacuum, uh, it's kind of at a hard spot to get to if I have to reach underneath there all the time. So I looked to my scrap bin of items, and I came up with uh, stuff that I had left over from other projects. Uh, I had this pigtail here off of an extension cord that's the female uh, there was one off the the male side right there and I had that heavy duty uh, OJ cord there I think it's called that or SOJ or SJ SJ yeah and then I had these parts left over so what I did was built the box and I'll be able to take this and plug it in let's do it so I go over here plug that in and now what we have here is this box here so this outlet will always be hot when that's plugged in in case I just want to you know hook something up quickly and then let's see we'll turn the switch on there goes the light so what I will do then is mount this whole thing up underneath here probably on the left hand side since I'm a lefty and it'll be nice and handy for me to just turn the vacuum off and on. Alright, let me get that mounted in there. Well the shop is a wreck. That's what happens when you're doing a project. Stuff all over the place. Look at this. The floor, everything, because my world is messed up in here right now. Till I get that saw over to its new happy place over here. As you can see it's moving along quite nicely. I decided using that old growth pine because I like it so much I said I might as well put it on something that I'm going to see all the time for me instead of for somebody else. So I've made little face frames on here and I think it's about done. It's time to put the saw on there and get ready with that. Look at that grain. Nice, huh? Anyway, there's the, uh, let me show you this. I got that all mounted so I can hook the vacuum up. And then that's all ready to just be plugged in. I'll put a hook on the back to hang the cord on. And so I can move this baby around. Get a faceplate on there and that'll be done. Okay, it's time to build the two side pieces that will hold the uh, track and stop system. I opted to go with the Craig one. I'm going to build it just like the uh, picture, just because it it's already has directions. And that's kind of what I need to do. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, old cabinet that I got to build it, and it's going to make it nice and smooth and everything. So first thing that I'm going to do here, let's go over here and have a look. I've already started to construct it. So this is upside down now. That is going to be the top. Right here. This piece. And it's upside down. I had to cut an angle because there's an angle for the stop on the saw when you go to cut angles. I had to do that. So what I've done is I went with the easy way of pocket holes going down here on these strips. So let me get this, uh, this assembled on here. I'm going to use glue and uh, the pocket hole screws. Alright, I got those two pieces on there. Here's an interesting thing. I don't know if you could see that. Right here. 
see on the face there's a piece of rubber and that's how I cut it so that that'll be uh, on the front of it just using the best uh, I can out of this material now now I'm gonna assemble the bottom onto here remember this is flipped upside down so in order to secure this whole unit to the workbench the my what I'm gonna do is I've went and drilled see these these are t-nuts so I put three of them in let's have a flip around here see that so now uh, from the underside of the workbench I'll be able to go ahead and assemble uh, and just put a couple of screws in there three quarter inch bolts uh, and that will secure it I'll make the holes a little larger so I have a little room to move it around so I can get perfect alignment then I can just tighten them down and if necessary I'll shoot a couple screws in after but I didn't want to just put it up there and um, have no way to make uh, you know fine adjustments and so I'm going to take this back piece here I mean bottom piece and just attach it with uh, with screws okay well now that is all assembled you can see the uh, how it goes that dado that you're seeing on the bottom that just happened to be on the um, the wood that I had from that cabinet you see it has a nice front on it of uh, that rubber I had to cut the angle over here and then it'll go up against here you can see that so now what I need to do is put the back on that I mount the rail to alright I got the back screwed on there I have it in the vise right now that's why it's uh, turned upside down so we're looking at the back side and now I'm putting on the pretty blue uh, Craig back rail they put this line in here for you uh, as a place to drill and then you have to drill all the holes for this and then put the screws in so that's what I'm about to do I have two sections to put on here because I'm going with four foot long fences on either side ooh la la coming right along so there's a railing on this side The other side's all built. Now, let me just show you something that I did. I built this, these wings, a little bit high so that the saw can be shimmed up a little bit to match that. I was afraid that if I, uh, you know, built it, you know, right on or that, that I would have a problem and I would have to mess around with it. So. That's why I did that, because it's easy to shim the saw up a little bit before I attach it. So this project is really moving along. Okay, so here it is. I finished it and I uh, have it ready to go in operation. It turned out really well. Uh, the, uh, I have these nice fences on either side here uh, that, that are nice here. I also have, uh, which I'll show you a little bit more in detail, I have this rail system on here and I can slide this along and it has a ruler here and uh, as a stop there and then I can take a piece of wood up there and just set it for whatever I uh, whatever dimension I need it set it there lock it in and away I go I can start cutting I have the um, switch in down here to turn the vacuum on automatically the vacuum is hooked up behind here. I had to get a special fitting that I found to work with these saws and my vacuum. And so, as you can see, I can rotate it back and forth. And since the uh, saw is also a sliding uh, miter saw compound, I can slide it back and forth. All the while having a good uh, dust collection system. So let me uh, get the camera over here and show you uh, it on the uh, both sides there. I have the uh, little spaces down there for storage to keep little uh, cutoffs that I want to keep. I have that on one side and then I have another one on the other side. 
have that big drawer which I haven't filled up yet, but uh, the little drawers, let's have a look at the, oh, I thought I put stuff in here, oh there you go, so the bottom one's all filled up with uh, safety equipment, and so that worked out really nice, now here's the top on the rail here, so you can see there's a, a tape measure on here, that runs along, and then you have the stop, so the stop is adjustable to any location up to uh, pretty long there. What is that? Uh, 56 inches. I also have a rail going over here with the tape measure on there. Now this stop is what they call a production uh, stop. See on there it's got the uh, right here. Uh, you line up that red line with whatever you're doing and then just uh, lock it in there and that thing is tight and not going to go anywhere so uh, this is more of if you're going to do a lot of repetitive cuts you'll be using this one here whereas the other one um, works for a different application so I'm really happy with the way this unit turned out even have you know a little storage in the end there uh, it's uh, it's quite large and uh, at a good height. I made it high because uh, I'm a tall guy and I'm tired of reaching down. I got the uh, switch right in there. have a big vacuum mounted on here. And uh, I'm going to uh, do some more stuff on the back end there because I have room. And I haven't quite figured that out yet. But that's a pretty good job for um, taking some re uh, recycled material here, an old cabinet, and getting the most out of it and a couple of pieces of plywood and some 2 by 4s So um, I hope you uh, enjoy this video and uh, that it inspires you to want to make a miter saw stand uh, for your miter saw because now it makes it a way more versatile tool in the workshop. Well I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, this is the Homestead Handyman out if you uh, like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe, and give us the old thumbs up. Homestead Handyman, out.